Asanda is a first year CPUT student who is faced with difficult challenges of obtaining RIS. Hey, my name is Asanda, I'm a first year student CPUT. Um, I'm studying HR, I'm a first year student. And basically, I'm from Strand, and then I have to travel to and fro Strand like every day. And then um, I don't have RIS. Because I have to walk to the, to the, like, the taxi run every morning, mm -hmm. it's dangerous. It's like 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it's basically very dangerous because I'm a girl mm -hmm. and I have to walk to the taxi run alone at 4 a.m. Okay. Have, have there been times when you thought about not going to class because of the whole trip? A couple of times actually. Because most of the time I miss my classes because I get here sometimes very too late. Because the change delays also, so it's not really guaranteed that I get you on time every day because Metro Rail is just something else. So. And why do you keep going there? Because I'm a ticket educated and like I love HR, so. Okay. So it's a course you love, mm. but it's just. So much passion for it. <laughs> but there's so many, 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 many obstacles. Obstacles, yes. Because I don't live here and I don't have any other access to the stuff they use here, e-learning as well. Because I have to catch a train to train early, so I can't go to e-learning after classes to catch up with the work I've missed out on. Like, can you tell us maybe the tests and like how you've studied before this test and how you missed them? Like, can you just get through that that whole day when oh, you go okay, to that? Yeah, yeah well, that whole trip. Series of events. Yeah, yeah. Well. Oh, okay. So it was the other one was last of last week, mm -hmm. Monday, eight thirty, and so I took a train from Strand at six six a.m. actually, and then it got you at nine. It delayed. Do you think that I studied for that test and then got you at nine? So. It's draining actually. And then the other one, the train delay as well. So. And what happened when you when you got to class? I went to second class actually and then talked to my lecturer about it. It's just nothing to do about it. It's just a choice of the other test. So my year and markers are better as well. So when it comes to the missing out of tests and stuff like that, um, mm. I feel that CPUT kind of needs to make a space, I don't know if you can say space, to, to, for those students who are having difficulty in terms of, you know, of transportation mm. as, as to when and, and because all this boils down to if you had a race, mm. then you wouldn't be facing this kind of problem. Exactly. Because it's due to race now that you're experiencing all these other elements mm. that are tied into the residents. So I think as well, the lectures also needs to kind of like assist in terms of finding you maybe another way. It's not that to say you are special, mm. but as a student, you know, you, you've made the effort of showing up in class even though you're late and have explained your story as to why you're late. System. It's not fair. Like having to go on blackboard every day, they could have just printed out notes. For most students, they don't have even have internet access at home, like some students in my class. So it's not fair on them. Like they learn as uh, students who are pure disadvantaged, and so it's like sad because now you can't get access to slides and you have to study for coming up to it, and then it's like you're missing out on a lot already. So. So I'm also a first year student, and I do have place in residence. But the things that I've, I've, I've seen is that people that didn't even apply for residence, they just decided to sit outside and tell the people, but listen, we don't have anywhere to go, we're your responsibility now. And even after they did that, then they got placed. But there's people there that didn't even apply. But then people that did apply, they, are, they don't get placed and they, they get, they get um, the stuff that they need to travel and everything. So I think it's unfair because they actually did apply in time for it and yet they don't get space. And these people that didn't apply for it, that just decide to come sit here and make the, make the residents responsible for it and yet they do get space. Okay, okay I am Karabo and I'm doing first year. 
Okay, there was this other night where I had to help my friend sleep here. And then that night we were told that we had an orientation in our residence. And then they told us that you are only allowed to sleep with your friend one night and it should be the same gender. But you have to report to the res management so that they, they are aware of it. Mm. So when she told me that she needs to sleep here, I wanted to, to help her. But I needed to consider the fact that we were told that we have to report by the res management. And she came here very late telling me that she has, she has to do an assignment and she can't go home because she has to do it, it by the e-learning. The SRC representative was not available for comment. Asanda is one of many students who is faced with this problem each year. So we ask the question, when will this matter be resolved? Rachel Mohammed, CPUT, Cape Town.